Okay. Hi Ian, good to see you. How are you doing? We, we talked way back in the early days, so after Lennar had first started Bad Enterprise and how we might tackle that. And I that, don't think I had grey hair in those uh, days. Well, I've got more of grey hair anyway. Um, you know, and, that, and after that leg was formed, and we, you know, all the, these two or three years have gone by now, and this morning in the keynote, we had AMD with real hardware, real software, all upstream, done properly. Exciting, isn't it? Yeah, exciting. So where do we go next with this thing? Wow. Um, so I think there's a few things, right? If you think about what Suresh said this morning, was talking about standards, yeah. right? And I think one of the exciting things is to see these sorts of products coming out with a standard platform. You mentioned Trust Zone as well and this SPSA yeah. compliance. And I think that's really going to be a platform. He talked earlier about the real need now to actually go and put more software onto these things, right? Yeah. Now we've got a base. And the benefit of SBSA is people can get software written once uh, uh, as a kernel, whatever, and it's it's all going to boot right, in a consistent right, way. Right, and you're not wasting effort, everybody doing their own thing. Right. I mean, and standards drive the whole enterprise market. Yep. And I think we need to see standards in other markets as well, because I think, you know, everybody doing everything slightly differently in mobile, particularly in embedded, um, is going to be uh, pretty inefficient. So I think we need to drive standards in, in all areas. I agree. And I, I think one of the things that you see with um, the networking areas, I think we've realized that, you know, if you look at SBSA, it was a very low level set of standards, yeah. right? A booting of a device in a standard way, do, you know, devices on a, on PCIe yeah. enumerate themselves in a standard way. Pretty standard stuff. Um, if you look at what we're doing with ODP now, we're trying to bring that up at, at a standards level, so sort of middleware and application Absolutely. software can be written in one way, and it will take advantage of all the goodness. The, the programmer writes it once, but you know it will take advantage of the goodness on a Cavium part or an Nvidia part or an AMD part. Right really away from the program and I think you know one of the things we've got to look at is you know where, where, do, where where's the right level of those right. sorts of standardization not just down at low-level firmware but what are the right things further up the stack yeah I agree there's there's a bunch of key areas where we if with the right standards not too many not too few but in and how they link together will really level the playing field and, and allow the ARM community to really compete in these places. Yeah, I mean, look at power management. One of the great things about the ARM architecture is, is people's vision of how they can conserve energy, right? right. Um, but if you're a programmer and you see all of these different ways that are, people are taking advantage of power management inside SOCs, how are we going to help people really write software that takes full advantage of that power management? Yeah, that's, as much, uh, that's as much about uh, software frameworks, which are also a standard. Don't yeah. forget software, you, you, know, you don't have to write a standard. In. I'm a dumb hardware guy, so I just lump them all into the same <laughs> no thing. No such thing as dumb hardware. <laughs> so the other thing that's been happening in Lenaro, perhaps you might want to comment on, is uh, the members are putting more engineers in, so they're taking their teams that are outside of Lenaro, putting them outside the firewall, uh, and really working on the things that they want to do. We call them lead projects. Mm -hmm. and Arm's been been doing amazing things, putting teams in various parts. So you're very kind. I mean, we're you know. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, number one, we're committed to. Lenaro. I, I think it was uh, something like 50 ARM people here at uh, so I think it's Lenaro. About, I think it's about 70. Oh. There's a huge number. 20 other people stuck in. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, and, and I think you know, we realize that um, you know, Lenaro is just an incredibly, is the right sort of centralized point, right? Um, you know, you look at what we are. If we, if we are to, to really grow an ecosystem around, around ARM products, whether that's for servers or networking or mobile <laughs> platforms or other new things that, you know, other new areas that we're, we're looking at to do uh, standard work, we have to pull those resources, right? And, and so for ARM, we, we have to go off and invest in that group. We're committed to doing that. And what's coming out at the other end is you're seeing, you know, first class citizen releases, uh, you know, and um, kernels coming out optimized for the ARM architecture. And, and the way we're going to continue to do that across all of these markets is by putting more into that central area that gets a, a you know, we, we, we want downstream kernels to be taking full advantage of technology like Big Little, other new things that we'll bring out in the architecture uh, as, as we come out uh, going forward. We, we do that through Lenaro, that goes upstream, and then all of these other distributions yeah, yeah. take full Every, advantage everybody of Everybody benefits. So it's been five years. I can't believe Lenaro has been around five years. So, and you were there at the start. You I was. Were always enthusiastic. So hopefully we can do this interview again in five years' time. More grey hair. Uh, hopefully, hopefully similar way. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. I'll be here in the next five. Much, yeah. Thank Cheers. you, David.